Hey guys, um, Elda here. Uh, I haven't been able to post any videos of me playing music yet because I, uh, started, you know, once I started to get ready to, you know, I learned a couple of songs, I was ready to post them, and then I actually found out that YouTube, um, since it's creator's emails to kind of give you tips and tricks on, you know, anything and everything to being a YouTuber. Um, so I actually started looking through these emails and they actually have like a YouTuber, like Academy, which is actually pretty neat. However, I ran into the issue of copyright and copyright infringement. So, um, which it's a big deal, but it's kind of not a big deal. It's a big deal. So I um, started researching it, and it's super fascinating to me. However, um, it also terrifies the crap out of me because I don't want to be sued, um, and I can't afford to be sued. So that's why I haven't been posting any videos lately. Um I, you know, just to be safe, I'm trying to reach out to copyright owners and try to get permissions to use songs, which um, has actually proved to be a lot harder than I kind of thought it was going to be. So not only that, it's really hard to kind of get a straight answer. So because I originally emailed um, someone from the YouTube Academy to ask some questions and I told them like, you know, what I planned on doing in my videos, which was I wasn't planning on doing covers or remixing songs because if I was just remixing um, songs and completely changing them, it'd be super easy. And in fact, that falls under the fair use um, laws where if you totally remix and repurpose um, original content, you don't need copyright permission. However, since I'm not remixing, I'm simply playbacking um, I totally need permission. Um, so the person who I e emailed from YouTube didn't really give me a straight answer. And then I finally got in contact with someone from, I think it's called Lionfish Music or something or other. And they told me that I would need licensing, but then they're like, YouTube kind of has like a blanket policy to kind of protect its creators. But then when you go back to YouTube, they're like, no, you have to get permission um, so it's just really hard to get a straight answer. And not only that, like finding the copyright holder for music has proven to be a lot harder because there's usually multiple people involved. And even just for one song, there's the producer, there's the songwriter. Um, so you could get permission to use like the music part of it, but then like there's, you know, the lyrical part of it. It's so confusing and it's, um, and it's been kind of scary, actually. So that's why I haven't posted anything yet. Um, so I still wanted to use Seven Nation Army by the White Stripes for my first video. Um, and I'm pretty sure I've pinpointed who has the copyrights. So I'm just waiting for a response back, an email saying, you know, yeah, you can use this, blah, 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 blah. Um, so that's where we are right now. Um, so hopefully as soon as they email me back, I can post some more videos or just any videos. But yeah, for right now, the reason why I haven't posted is because I'm utterly terrified that I'm going to get, um, you know, in trouble. And even if I don't get sued, the thing is, is that with YouTube, their policy is that you can get three um, strikes for copyright infringement and after that they will take your channel down so there's just a it's just going to be so much easier if i get permission first um so hopefully i can figure this out and start posting videos so thanks for your patience i hope i can post videos soon and uh hopefully the next time you see me will be slapping the bass so until the next one peace